Hmm. Hey folks, what's up? Hold on. It's like I need a booster seat or something here. Okay, hey. What's up? It's me, Shaolin Steph, and um Today we're gonna talk about celebrities, drugs, and rehab. All right, here's one. Yesterday, I get in the car with my mom. Now, I didn't purchase Amy Winehouse's CD. Uh, why not? Eh, I don't really purchase CDs much anymore, but I didn't download any of her songs either. Not to say that I didn't like them. I did hear the CD quite a few times from everybody else who bought it. Um, I just, you know, I, I never do anything everybody else does. So, you know, I'm terminally unique. But... I did catch her Grammy performance live via satellite from London and um, I thought it was a really good performance and I totally agree with her getting all the Grammys and this is the argument I got in with my mom. So we're driving in the car and she says, well, I'm really disappointed at the Grammys. And I was like, here we go. I'm really disappointed because they gave all those Grammys to that fucking drunk Amy Winehouse or drug addict or whatever she called her. And I said, I said, this is my deal. Because I already read the, the uh, Natalie Cole quote. And, um, you know, she was saying how uh, she was quoted as saying that she thought it was bullshit. Well, not word for word. I'm going to go ahead and do it my way. But she thought it was bullshit that Amy Winehouse got all the Grammys, that they were rewarding her for her bad behavior, yada, yada, yada. That is bullshit. Grammy goes to somebody that makes an awesome fucking LP, CD, whatever, and uh, makes awesome music and sells a lot of, you know, a lot of albums, CDs, whatever, okay? That's what the Grammy goes to. The Grammy's not awarded to somebody who doesn't use drugs or alcohol or does. Since the beginning of fucking rock and roll, people have been getting involved in drugs and alcohol and getting off of them, going to rehab and that. And there's, there's tragic stories of people dying, like everybody from Hendrix and Joplin, Sid Vicious, you know, and there's stories about people who make it, like that guy from Three Dog Night, you know? He was on heroin for 20 something odd years and got clean. Um, but the thing is, is the Grammy is awarded to somebody who makes a f fucking great music and sells a lot of music and not to somebody who, um, you're not getting an award for, I don't know, being good. It's not like Santa fucking Claus, you know, it's going to be a list who's naughty, who's nice. So, um, I wanted to go ahead and touch upon that subject. I think, uh, I think it's great that Amy Winehouse got all those Grammys and I could give a shit about anything else. It's good music and, uh power to her she gets a thumbs up from me second um celebs and rehab uh my quote uh for the last week has been 2008's best vacation destination rehab everybody's in rehab mark jacobs relapsed back to rehab um rehab seems to be really popular especially with vh1's celebrity rehab i don't I don't know, folks. Maybe it's just me. I mean, I've been through a bunch of rehabs. I had my share of drug problems. But celebrity rehab, that's just taking reality shows a bit too far. Um, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's a bad thing. I, I, I've watched part of it once. I, I still don't know what to think about it. Um, and then the people that are going to rehab. Eva Mendez was probably the biggest shocker for me. Um, I, I... I I don't really follow up much on her work or anything like that. She's a hot chick, so if I open up a magazine, I stare at the pictures. I'm not really reading the article. Um, but uh, that's a disappointment. Heath Ledger's death. I wanted to touch on that for a second, too. Uh, I keep reading this accidental overdose, accidental. He was prescribed those pills. His parents, uh, you know, making a big deal out of, like, you know, it, he, those are prescription drugs and it was an accident. Okay. When you pop that many Oxycontins, that much Xanax, and all the other Percocets, all the other pills that he had as in possession, and you die, I don't know how much of an accident that is. I'm mean, sure it's an accident, but not an accident. Nobody's fault. The guy was fucking around with drugs, and he OD'd. Accidental overdose, you know? Um, but I wouldn't go off making a big deal that he was prescribed all those drugs. Nobody should be on that that many pills nobody needs that many painkillers and nobody needs that many uh muscle relaxers and uh, anti-anxiety i mean really folks the guy was a dope fiend he died of an overdose make it clear you know it's fucking sad but true brad renfro mm. <laughs> that sounded funny i've only seen him in a few movies yeah he was a decent actor <sighs> heroin overdose that's sad um i've been hearing lately that uh there's been a lot of overdoses near texas 
with the heroin um, really strong batch went out killing people right and left but you know what um, I think there must be something up with the stars or something because and I don't mean like celebrity stars I mean like up in the sky stars because uh, a lot of people a lot of people relapsing going back to rehab a lot of people who weren't on drugs going to rehab oh here's a good one Delta Burke I don't know if anybody remembers Delta Burke but she was on designing women and um, I think she married uh, eh, a tall skinny dude with a mustache bald um, Anyway, she went to rehab for being a pack rat. She says being a pack rat has ruined her life. Uh, yeah, that's some serious shit right there. Um, yeah, so besides rehab, got a lot of bipolar people in that uh, entertainment community. Um, looks like, <clears throat> now I'm bipolar. I'll be straight up honest. I've been reading a lot about Britney Spears and you know them talking about her being bipolar and all that, but I think, uh, I don't think she's bipolar. I think anybody that lives that kind of life, is followed around every day by paparazzi, makes the stupid naive decisions that she did, and then pays for them. I mean, in, in the long run, you know, it, that, that'll cause somebody to go crazy. So I wouldn't blame it on bipolar disorder. I don't think she's bipolar. I think she's just uh, had enough. Um, in, 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 in the words of Chris, whatever the fuck his name is, you know, you know Chris, leave it alone, that Chris. Yeah, dude, I agree with you. Leave her alone. Anyways, um, well, I'm going to end this blog with one thing. Hey, kids, just say no. Trust me. Just say no. Um, unless it's marijuana. <laughs> hey, man, it gives you the munchies. It doesn't make you rob stores. Okay, folks, take it easy. This is me, Shaw, and Steph, and we're out. Ooh, what a big hand you have.